Hi, this is Dawn Langford with the Viral Publicity. We're here tonight at Busby's in West Los Angeles, California. I have with me Michelle Page, who is with NepalDog.com. Michelle, tell us what you do. Hi, well, I'm a fair trade art dealer, and I specialize in paintings of people's pets. American dogs are generating Nepali jobs in Nepal. So people send me a picture of their pet online, and I give it to three struggling signboard artists, and they're going to like one of the three of them. Uh, I don't accept any money up front, so if they didn't like them, there'd be no bad karma. They don't, you, people don't have, they have no uh, obligation. It's a trial run. Right, but actually out of the hundreds and hundreds of ones I've done, it's only happened twice. Thank you. Okay, and so let's see, what would be, is it all kinds of pets? Is it just dogs? Oh, no, it's dogs, cats, turtles, cockatoos, uh, chickens. I've had orders for all kinds of things. Ferrets. There's no, there's no limit. Parrots. Got it, got it. Okay, so you're, you're giving work by getting work. That's correct. I don't like giving people money. I like giving people work. And these artists, their work is disappearing due to digital, you know, and computer-generated work. And in the old days, they used to do beauty shop signs, and all the girls were quite striking and very different. And everything is hand-painted. And nowadays, it's all done by committee, much like it is here. And the Clairol signs don't look any different than the Clairol signs here in America, except that they're Indian actresses, Indian movie stars, usually. So I didn't think I could sell beauty shop signs but I thought people would like pictures of their pets. And there is a tradition of Nepalis painting signboards, uh, signs on metal to put on their gates to scare away burglars or to warn people that there's a dog on the property. Perfect. Perfect. Now, so for social media, what is helping you get NepalDog.com out? Are you using any social media sites? And is that helping you get clients? Well, I have a blog, NepalDog.typad.com. And I think today I did my 445th post. And of course, whenever I post on that, I put it on Facebook, I put it on Twitter, I put it on tr Tumblr, I put it to Sickness, I put it on Blog Time, Dog Blog Network. I think there's about 15 that they automatically go to. You can set it up so that when you finish your post and you hit send, it goes 15 different places. So that does help a lot. So I don't even have any idea how many people are seeing it because I don't have stat counters for those kind of things. But yeah. I'm sure you're getting tons and tons of traffic there. Well, something's happening because I get I get commissions from Alaska and Maryland and all kinds of places. I, it's just amazing. And I do ask them where they come from, and some of it's from traditional media because uh, I was in the New York Times and I had five and a half minutes uh, on NPR with Marco Verman. I was the, the answer to a geo quiz. It was so much fun. And I did it from a, a telephone booth in Kathmandu. Congrats. Thank you. That was so cool. It was five minutes and 37 seconds national. Wow. Congrats. Wow. So tonight we have uh, Michelle Page with NepalDog.com. And Michelle, one last question. Who would be your perfect referral for NepalDog.com? My perfect referral, I guess it would be wonderful if maybe Ellen DeGeneres or some movie star got their dog done and was w willing to promote it. I do have a lot of celebrity stars, uh, uh, clients, but it's tacky to promote with them unless they agree to it. So, And if they'd ask, I'd give them one. <laughs> and what is your website that we can find you at? It's NepalDog.com. So NepalDog.com, and we have with us Michelle Page tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don. And we will see you at the next event.